we're going to start off by removing the serpentine belt off and we are going to take it off using a wrench and I'll show you So to remove this bolt, you're going to need a 14 socket, and you're going to place it into here, and then I've already pre-loosened up that portion, and then the other bolt is going to be right here. And there wasn't that much torque on here, but you're going to need an extension to get to that um, bolt so so once you get your extension on here you're gonna go counterclockwise and it loosens up fairly easily right here so we're going to finish loosening that up I'm not gonna take both those bolts out quite yet I'm gonna take so with a standard extension and a 14 millimeter socket we're going to take this portion out and once we've broken it free I'm going to do that with my hand here in a second the next thing we're going to do is take this these two bolts out and I think these are 10 millimeter um, and we are going to take this bracket off to kind of allow us to loosen this up and then we are going to take this portion out as well and we're going to drain as much as we can from here first. So we're going to loosen this one bolt off right here and then I'm going to pre-loosen these two bolts right here I'm going to do each of these by hand afterwards and drain this out. Some of you may be wondering, but I did end up replacing this O-ring several times and I've replaced this one as well. But I believe this is like leaking right in the seal of this internal pump right here. So we're going to drain as much as we can out of this reservoir using the turkey baster method. Get as much of that out as we can and then we're going to take some paper towels and separate these out and uh, move these so that we can get this entire portion out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove these two sections out, then take two bolts out, and then remove the unit. So we're gonna use a standard turkey baster to pull out as much fluid as possible. This is gonna require a lot of paper towels. And our goal is to get as much as possible out so it doesn't <coughs> leak throughout your car. All this is fairly new power steering fluid. I ended up going through and replacing the O-rings and then determined that it wasn't the O-rings that were giving it issues and that it was the seal of the power steering pump that gave it a lot of issues. And so all of this is fairly dirty and we're trying to get as much as we can out. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what happens when we remove each of these. I've drained the reservoir, this red ring, O-ring is the newer one. I've taken this one bolt off. I've also taken both of these bolts off as well and we're gonna slowly loosen this up a little bit so you can kind of um, see it is a black ring and I'm doing this one-handed so you guys can see a little bit of um, the oil that's listed back there um, we're gonna wipe this down a little bit but you're gonna get some 
of the power steering fluid everywhere. We're gonna loosen this up as well. We're going to loosen this. Hold this a little bit and kind of do this by hand. So I've loosened it out as much as I can and you're going to see this bolt right here but the next steps I'm going to show you are me removing it. So it just simply pulls off like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep the bottom and top nuts off and I'm going to show you a little bit about what it looks like. This is the bottom one and this is the top one. So I'm going to show you this power steering pump. Here's the model number right here. Decided by Refurb here locally in Oklahoma City. They ended up charging, I think, $179. There's some things with the discount. These are the two new O-rings. A little bit larger on that lower, a little bit smaller on the higher portion. And then this one is a remanufactured one. show you what it looks like side by side so I'll show you the look and feel of how this is right here so they're pretty much identical this one does include a pulley and they are capped on each of these sides so they did spray paint this to illustrate that this is the newer one, so we're just gonna transfer the parts. So out. we're just gonna do things in reverse, and I've placed both of these along with the washers from the old one over to the new one, and you're just gonna do these by hand first, and I wouldn't tighten them down until I get both sides down. Same thing over here. We are going to just do these by hand. And then I'll finish off the installation here shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and finish putting these two in. We just replaced the O-ring on this one and on this one as well. And we're gonna go ahead and put in some genuine Honda fluid inside here. As you notice, this is pretty dry. Our goal is to get it up to the high portion slightly above here so that when we recirculate it and turn the wheel it's going to bring in the rest of the power steering fluid in. Usually you need a two-person job but it's just me today so I'm gonna do it myself. So once we've installed everything we're gonna connect to any of these connections are leaking right here and they're not. The most important part is we see all these air bubbles working through. It ended up dropping ever so slightly here, so we're going to add some more and keep on turning the wheel until all the air bubbles work out. I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes. 